Hello, and welcome to Mission 5, Lesson 23, where the student objective is to add and multiply unit fractions to build fractions greater than one using visual models. So simplify, that means we're going to multiply fractions today, okay? And we're going to do that by visually kind of drawing it out and writing it out that way. So let's take a look at an example of how one of these type of problems might look. Nine times one fourth. This is an example of the type of equation we're talking about today and the type of equation that we are going to be able to solve when we are through with today's lesson. So notice we have a whole number, which is nine, and we are multiplying it times a fraction, which is one fourth. So nine holes times one fourth. For today's lesson, this is how we want to represent this. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to rewrite 9 times 1 fourth as a repeated addition sentence or as the sum of unit fractions. Okay, So remember, what that means is I'm going to add 1 fourth together however many times um, I'm multiplying it by. So 9 times 1 fourth is the same as adding 1 fourth together 9 times. Right? So it's the same as adding 1 fourth together nine times. So I'm going to write one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. That's one, two, three, four. Plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. How many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's one-fourth. Plus one fourth. Let's make sure I have nine of those. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I have now rewritten nine times one fourth as a sum of unit fractions. So one fourth plus 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 one fourth. Again, that's the same as saying nine times one fourth, just written as an addition sentence. Now, to figure out then how we solve this for today, what we need to do is look at our fraction, and then we're going to use parentheses to group the fractions. All right? And we're going to group them into holes. When I say holes, I mean whole numbers, not like a hole in the ground. And so one-fourth. How many fourths? How many of these fourths does it take to make one whole? Well, it takes four fourths to make one whole. So for every four fourths, I'm going to put parentheses around it like that. Okay, so notice I have one, two, three, four, because that is one whole. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth is four fourths or one whole. I'm going to see if I have enough to do it again. One, two, three three, four, I do. So I can put parentheses around one, two, three, four, just like that. Okay, now do I have enough to put parentheses around another four? I do not. So look what I've done here. I have one hole together, and then I parentheses off another hole, and then I still have this one fourth left over. So again, what do those... One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals? Well, it equals four fourths or one whole. Same thing here. This is another whole. And then I still have that one fourth. So now I just need to do, well, one plus one is two. And then I still have that one fourth. So my answer or my product for this, nine times one fourth, equals two and one four. This is what you're going to do for today's lesson. You need to rewrite the multiplication equation that you're given as a sum of unit fractions or this repeated addition sentence. And then you have to look at your fraction and then group off the holes, the whole numbers in there, right? Now, reminder, if it was like thirds, and so you had one third plus one third plus one third plus one third plus one third repeatedly, you would just parentheses off every three because it takes three thirds to make a whole. If it was halves, you would 
parentheses off every two because it takes two to make a hole. If it's fifths, parentheses off every five because it takes five of those to make a hole. Okay, and then you just look at how many holes you have. So again, this was one hole. That was two holes, and I still have that one fourth. And that's how you get how you get your answer today. And that's how you're going to multiply a whole number times a fraction today. Good luck, and go get them. Make me proud. <laughs>